it's Nicole Olive from Arpo with you again and in this wonderful video I will show you how to create spatial joints now many of you will ask what is a spatial joint it is um, an operation in which uh, you extract attributes from one layer to another layer based on the um, spatial location of its features that means if uh, the features of both layers are intersecting or uh, containing one another they merge their features and if not you assign what the program will do let's see the situation now I've uh, hidden all layers now I will show you the problem and how to solve it I have an existing layer of uh, seven polygons it could be much more polygons but uh, only seven in this case and uh, their, their, uh, their geometry, uh, geometry is uh, incorrect I have the updated geometry in another layer here they are you can see it is completely changed only this uh, polygon is the same however I will now check uh, you can see the attribute table Th this is the new layer with the correct geometry you can see what attribute it, uh, attributes it contains and uh, the existing layer as completely different attributes you can see the fields therefore if I try just to paste the features like that I will just paste some features right now let's say I want to select this feature and paste it in my layer let's make sure first that avoid intersections are off okay and paste all right and because all attributes are different uh, it will just assign zeros and you will have to type manually the correct values in this case I will skip that part because I want to show you the correct way to do it for seven features I can do it manually but if they were much more it would be not cost effective uh, not time effective at all first we will merge all features that we want to add to the layer let's see vector data management tools merge vector layers and uh, I will just add them to te uh, a temporary layer and now I will select the layers I just showed you they all begin with the PZ alright seven elements selected uh, create temporary layer alright let's merge them here they are and you can see the attributes they are just uh, non-descriptive uh, at all I will just delete them alright and now our task is to extract the existing attributes from this layer to the other layer and it is done uh, with two steps first we will extract the attributes of the existing polygon layer in this case the orange layer with the incorrect geometry we will extract its attributes to a point layer and then 
we will extract the attributes from the point layer to the other polygon layer. I will use a plugin named Reroute Center. You, you will find it by going to Manage and Install Plugins. In your case, it will be not installed, and you will ser search Real and you will find it. In my case, it is already installed. It will generate the center of mass of a polygon layer. I expect it to create seven points in the centers of each polygon. Let's go. Real center, it's. We'll use. Not selected which layer only browse we will call it with the same name alright that's not canvas okay and you can see the features attributes I will delete any features that are not needed Or for now I can use all of them, but later I will delete them. Let's do the operation now and we will perform now our spatial join by using the point layer which contains the attributes of the orange polygons and we will stack them to the blue polygon layer. In this case merge. First I need to save this merge layer as a temporary layer. Shape file and save it as all right, and that save file came up. Move and make them adjacent to one another, and now we will use. Go, uh, the in the menu vector data management tool and uh, join attributes by location Tar tar target vector layer will be uh, the polygon layer with the correct geometry I will default there in alphabetical order yes That's the correct one, and now the point there. Let me just see if all the points are contained in the polygons. I'm not so sure about that, especially these points. I will move them. In this case it is simply needed. I will move them inside. All right. Inside the blue, uh, the purple layer. This is okay. And this is good. All right. Save. And we will Perform the operation. <laughs> the advantage is that I, I already know where the layer is, and I will do the searching faster. All right, contains. It's all right. Precision zero. Take out the roots of first located feature is alright. And that's nice. I will not need that. Joint table keep on matching. Okay, joint pair. 
and we'll save it file and let's call it the same name but corrected a lot corrected that we selected on that feature let's try again if you have selected one feature in the polygon layer it will do that only for this this feature the extraction and all the other features will be omitted Do the same intersects. Right. 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 All right. That's what we intended to do. And now, since all of our features are the same, and we don't want to delete this layer, I will just copy and paste the features just like that I will delete the features and paste the new ones and I expect the attributes to be transferred no this is a book of QGIS when sometimes when you copy and paste you can expect to have some problems so I will uh, restart QGIS and show you again how it's done alright we're uh, already in QGIS we first started the program and now we can see if we will be able to copy and paste the features remove that and we make the same same operations we'll use create geometry and point center it contains no, no need for that. Save the file. We will use that one. Run. All right, and I will delete the joint layer. Up the physical file I created. All right. And I will copy and paste features. The features and paste the new ones. And uh, you can see, since I restarted QGIS, it extracted the correct attributes. And now I will delete any unnecessary columns and that that is it we extracted the features from we started with a layer with incorrect geometry we pasted the attributes from the, this layer to a point layer 
and then we extracted the attributes of the point layer to the layer with correct geometry and after all we pasted all features to our existing layer you will ask why did we paste from one layer to another that's because I've already created many layer styles and combinations which use the following uh, layer I I had with the incorrect geometry and if I delete that layer uh, I will have some error messages later therefore I prefer to paste the features into it than to use another layer and delete this layer from the legend thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this video be sure to like subscribe and ask questions if you want to in the comments below have a good week it's Nicole Lalev from Arpro signing off.